Give me blood and I will give you freedom. Good afternoon, respected director sir, principal sir, teachers and all my trainees. My name is Eileen Mukhi from BEd first year and I am here to convey speech on the birth anniversary of Subhash Chandra Bose. Subhash Chandra Bose was one of the greatest leaders of India. He is famous by the name of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was born on 23rd January 1897 in Katak Odisha into a wealthy and privileged Bengali family He was the son of Shri Janaki Nath Bose and Shrimati Prabhavati Datta Bose Bright confident Subhash had a strong sense of his own worth Subhash Chandra Bose received his early education in a village school he enrolled in presidency college in calcutta to further his education he passed the intermediate exam in the first place in 1915 bose's parents wanted him to enlist to prepare in the indian administrative service in order to prepare for civil service He was sent to Cambridge University in England. A Swadeshi at heart, Subhash Chandra Bose joined the Indian National Congress in 1939, but left after a verbal altercation with the party's leader in 1940. Subhash asserts that violence is necessary in order to achieve freedom because it cannot be attained through non-violent means. Before founding the Indian National Army in 1941 he traveled the world and met influential leaders from Germany, Italy and Japan. He was a fierce fighter and the epitome of intelligence. He was known for his Indian chant give me blood and I will give you freedom. The celebration for Republic Day will now begin on Subhash Chandra Bose's birthday. every year the indian government made this choice in honor of neta ji and in memory of his sacrifice during the fight for independence india is going to celebrate subhash chandra bose's 127th birthday this year his forceful personality propelled many to join the freedom movement and still motivate indians today it is believed that He died in a plane crash on August 18, 1945. Though Netaji is no more in this world, yet his name will ever shine, and he will always be counted as one of the greatest martyrs of the country. Thank you all. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.